My name is Leo Chang. I'm the designer of the KD2. The KD2 is, uh, is for Kevin Durant. He's kind of our young and up and coming superstar uh, signature athlete. He wanted a shoe that was super lightweight so that you know, he can move really fast, you know, he's super quick. We looked at the way he moves, um, and he's primarily on his toes. When you look at his heel strike and his gait, it's very much midfoot to forefoot. Really, the way the cushioning is set up, um, the lateral support is set up, is all designed for that. A lot of players out there wear orthotics, and he didn't feel like he needed it in this shoe. It really molded to his foot, and he really felt like it fit well. He doesn't. Um, have to kind of customize his shoes or anything and kind of authenticate the product that's actually out on the shelf. He likes a little bit more mobility. He's a quicker guy, so he doesn't want a whole lot of stuff restricting him, so kind of went with more of a lower cut um, collar. It still gives him the ankle support he needs, but um, just gives him more ankle mobility. One big request that Kevin had was he wanted a midfoot strap. That was one thing that I think he felt was iconic to him. Inside the collar, there is these two lobes, and what they do is actually help to lock the heel in, so you don't have any heel slippage, because he won't be popping out of the shoe. Durability is definitely key for him. He plays in Barry Farms uh, in DC, and so this kind of rubberized detail in the back here helps to um, sort of protect the shoe. And the rand that you see here, that's sort of added reinforcement in the, in the zone that he needs support. And internally within the capsule, we have a four foot zoom airbag. Players who play like him um, are, are quicker and more on their toes. So that's where they primarily need their cushion. We see KD as more of a pure player guy. And so at this point in his life, he's all about commitment to the game. We actually carried over the bottom from the uh, KD1. and. We felt like the storytelling that was on the bottom really emphasized his hard work. These different numbers represent different things in his life. So this is his grandmother's house. This was Seat Pleasant uh, Rec Center. This was his mom's first apartment in DC. This is uh, the post office where she worked. And then L and Balsam Tree, that's uh, the intersection of Hunts Hill. That's where his coach and his mom made him do hundreds of hill sprints um, at a time. Um, to make him stronger and just toughen him up a little bit more. The rest of this pattern here is actually kind of like a Texas-inspired pattern. On this side, I won't go through all the details, but basically it lists out all the extra things he did as a basketball player to make himself better. We have inside the tongue logos. So the WP stands for Wander Pratt, and it also stands for Wayne Pratt. So. Wander Pratt's mom and Wayne Pratt's dad. This is a KD2 in a bright orange colorway. It's also reflective, so super loud. This colorway is uh, an Oklahoma City um, colorway, and so you have your blue and orange. This colorway of the KD2 will all hit in uh, summer 10, kind of a classic basketball colorway. Um, we wanted to hit it off with some a base of patent as well. This colorway of the KD2 um, will also hit in Summer 10. He actually played on an AAU team that was in this colorway. Kevin Durant's alter ego is Velvet Hoop. What you actually see is uh, his signature Velvet Hoop logo on strap versus his normal KD logo. Uh, inside the shoe and also inside the strap, uh, you see the same exact pattern that was on his pants in the commercial. This colorway is another colorway based off of the Oklahoma colors. We wanted to use a patent that contrasts off of the synthetic leather um, texture. This one, uh, we really wanted to kind of play up this, this bright midsole, so that thunder orange, um, but then kind of do a different take on a clean upper with grays. We actually switched out some of the materials. This is a, a lightweight kind of ripstop nylon material. Um, just have a little more fun with it. This colorway of the KD2 will debut in summer 10. Um, and again, it, it's using the photo blue that you see in the Thunder's um, jerseys, accented with some blacks. <laughs>